It's top cyber officials testifying on the growing threat of ransomware in a hearing that happened today in the Senate Judiciary Committee. Last year alone, a 300% increase in attacks, according to Homeland Security, which amounts to more than $300 million in ransom paid. But the dangers of a cyber attack about much more than ransom money. As the president made clear today in a speech to the top intelligence officials in the nation, CNBC's senior Washington correspondent, Eamon Javers, is with us. Eamon? Well, Shep, the president said today there's an increasing chance that a major cyber attack could lead at some point in the future to a shooting war. He made the comment while speaking to the U.S. intelligence community leaders at the Liberty Crossing headquarters of the Office of the Director of National Intelligence. I think it's more likely we're going to end up, as it, well, if we end up in a war, a real shooting war, with a major power, it's going to be as a consequence of a cyber breach, of great consequence. Meanwhile, on Capitol Hill today, senators were still reeling from the last major round of cyber attacks, with one venting his frustration about the colonial pipeline attack that caused gas shortages up and down the East Coast earlier this year. That's not a success story. That's a failure story. That's something is wrong in the way we're doing business right now. And officials testifying today offered up two new pieces of information that may not make that anger cool down anytime soon. First, they said that even though some high-profile groups, such as Our Evil, have gone dark lately, there are still as many as 100 active ransomware groups operating around the world. Senators also got a grim assessment of Russian President Vladimir Putin's response to President Biden warning him to crack down on those Russian hackers during their face-to-face -face meeting in Geneva this summer. There's no evidence that Putin is heeding this warning as yet, correct? I think that's fair, yes. Now, Shep, the FBI said today that in about half the cases, the Bureau isn't even able to figure out which criminals carried out the attack. That's just not the sort of intelligence you want in a situation that the president says could someday lead to a war. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.